Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with another review. This time it's the Crash Guard bumper case and the screen protector from Rhino Shield for the Google Pixel XL. Shout out to Rhino Shield, they sent this out to me to test out and review. Um, I'm just showing the packaging real quick, you know I don't normally bother, but it gives you an idea. You can pause that, read it for yourself if you really want to. Um, the bumper gives 11 foot of, um, right there, at least 11 feet of drop protection, which is extremely, extremely good that company saying that nowadays. Um, this is the packaging the screen protector comes in, so I'll quickly go through this. Six layers of protection, easy to clean anti-fingerprint, scratch resistant, impact dispersion, impact damping, high strength, zero res uh, residual adhesive, five times absorbs, five times more impact energy than normal screen protectors, thin as three sheets of printer paper. Um, with the screen protector you get a guide that's in there but you don't want to look at. Uh, you get a microfiber cloth, a, um, what's it called? A, a card that you can squeeze the bubbles out with which is pointless on, well actually no it works on this. Um, and you also get uh, dust removal stickers, so that's enough of that. Um, I'll show you where I got it quick, their website real quick. There's the crash guard bumper. $24.99 comes in black white or red and the screen protector is $24.99 as well now if you get the two together they take five or four dollars 99 cents off the screen protector and if you sign up you get five dollar discount on top of that as well so there's your prices there's the colors that are available so let's start with the bumper it's got the egg cup, I call it the egg cup technology built into it, and um, that's on the inside. That's what absorbs all the <coughs> shock in a drop. Now let's quickly go around, nice generous cutout for the headphone jack. You've got your power and volume rockers here, and nice Rhino Shield branding. And then the focus, that's embossed into the case, uh, into the bumper. Nice cutouts for your speaker charging port and microphone this you have to be careful what cable you use to charge the phone with because it is that's quite stiff there so you can't put just any old cable in there you have to make sure it fits i'll pre-warn you guys nothing on this side the front you've got nice lay on the table does uh, protection there bearing in mind i've got the screen protector on as well and you can still see it's above that so if I put it face down, no issue at all. The back of the bumper, that's also got a few millimetres of lay on the table lip, or design, however you want to call it. So you can see it there as well, higher than the actual back of the phone. So if I put that down, again, no issue. Grip, they have improved the formula they use in this. It's a lot more grip now with this bumper than they used to have. And what can I say? Very simplistic looking, but highly, highly effective bumper. Buttons. They are quite stiff when you first get the bumper. Quite stiff, especially the power button. But they will loosen up the more you use it. They've started loosening up on mine. See that there? You hear that clicking? So it does work. So I recommend this bumper. I've had their bumpers for a lot of my phones and I've never had issue with them, guys. So I highly recommend the bumper, definitely. Um, let's talk about the screen protector. Now, this is probably the best screen protector I've found so far for the Pixel XL. Um, one thing I want to make clear, though. They say it's very fingerprint resistant. Well, if that's not exactly true. I'll clean this off now and then you'll see what I mean. Right, that's cleaned off. Now if I go like that, you see the fingerprints there? You can see them there. They do come off easy, but it I don't know if it needs time for it to wear in a bit more or what, but it does pick up fingerprints. Not massively badly, but it does, not as good as 
It's an olophobic coating on a glass screen protector. Um, I'll show you this close up as well. Let's try and bring that into focus. So you can see the gap you have there. You see that cut out there, the gap? Try and bring it into focus. There we go. You can just see it there around the phone. So there is a small gap that runs around between the bumper and the actual screen protector. Um, it's because the screen curves at the edges. So, But it does cover the entire visible part of the screen without an issue. Um, it does go fairly low to the bottom of the phone. And what I like about this one is the top. Instead of having these weird rectangles cut out for everything, because it's not glass, what they've done is they've cut out the earpiece in the actual screen protector the sensors cut out and so is the camera and then the screen protector carries on going above the top there if you see what I'm you can just see that there there you go that's a good shot which is what I like I prefer that it looks much neater and much cleaner um, sensitivity wise clarity let's talk about clarity clarity no issue at all clarity um, let's talk about touch sensitivity um, I don't know, let's bring up YouTube. So, touch sensitivity. Actually, you know what? Let's go to this. No issues at all with that. See, touch sensitivity, no problems at all. Um, and to be honest, I haven't, it hasn't been scratched at all. I haven't found any scratches. Um, very easy to apply, actually, this screen protector. Um, the only issue you're going to have with the phone, with the screen protector and the um, actual bumper, is the back's going to be completely exposed to the phone. Um, it's going to be exposed to scratching and so on. So I've got a solution for that, guys, and I'll show you it quickly now, but I want, I'll do another review on this. I have actually got a glass screen protector on the back of this phone, believe it or not, on the actual metal and on the glass part. And I'll be doing that next. So definitely subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, guys. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down, but let me know why. And I've got loads more reviews coming up for the Pixel XL. Um, I've got more cases. I've got the Live case coming. I've got the Gear S3s coming. I've got the LG V20 coming. I've got the Mi Max on the way. So I've got a lot of stuff coming, guys. So definitely subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all again soon, guys. This is Techzilla saying, take care and bye for now.